Do we really need to shell out cash for WAN 2.5 when WAN 2.2, the free open source version, is already crushing it? That's the question I've been getting from so many of you. On one side, we've got the paid tier promising top tier features. On the other, the community hero that's free and powerful. Hello everyone. I'm so Tai. As you saw in the intro, today we are putting WAN 2.2 and WAN 2.5 head to head. We're going to find out if WAN 2.5, the upgraded version, is actually worth your hard-earned money, or if it's just pure marketing hype. In this video, I'm keeping it 100% fair. I'm not just going to skim through a few results. We are going deep into every single frame to get the most accurate verdict. Alright, no more waiting. Let's get started. Okay. But first, a huge shout-out to the sponsor of today's video, WAN AI. This tool lets you generate unlimited videos using the WAN 2.5 model. You can find them by searching wanai.co and clicking the first result. Or just save yourself some time and hit the link I left right down in the description. One thing I love about WAN AI, no forced monthly subscriptions. You can buy credits whenever you want, they stack up, and they never expire. Use them on your own schedule. This saves you a ton of money compared to other tools where unused monthly credits just vanish. Here, you only pay for what you actually use. Alright, and here is the interface for generating videos with the WAN 2.5 model. Now, I'm going to compare the results between the WAN 2.5 model and WAN 2.2 using a custom workflow I built right here in ComfyUI. And to keep things strictly fair, obviously, we are going to run this comparison using the exact same prompt. Alright, everything is set. Let's kick off this comparison. First up, we're testing the text-to-video capabilities. For this first example, I'm inputting a prompt describing a scene of a man running away in the rain, as you can see right here. Now, look at the settings. You can see we have options to go up to 10 seconds in length and 1080p resolution. However, to keep things fair, for these first few examples, I'm going to lock it to 5 seconds and 720p. This matches the maximum output my local WAN 2.2 workflow can handle on my 24GB VRAM setup. Hit Generate Video and let's wait for the magic. And of course, over here on my WAN 2.2 text-to-video workflow, I'm feeding it the exact same prompt. And here are the results. First off, let's examine the output from WAN 2.2 running in ComfyUI. Right off the bat, WAN 2.2 actually starts strong. You can see the man running with that panicked look just like I wanted. The rain effects, the wet clothes, his face, it's all rendered logically and stays consistent between frames. If you pause it, it looks like a very realistic shot. However, a few seconds in, the cracks start to show. First, he just stops and starts mumbling something at the camera. This is a clear prompt adherence failure. The model completely forgot the script that he's supposed to be running for his life. Secondly, look closely at this background character right here. One second he's wearing black, the next second it swaps to white. That's a classic temporal inconsistency glitch, something pretty much everyone using WAN 2.2 in ComfyUI runs into. Now, let's look at the WAN 2.5 result over here. As you can see, the video nails the prompt perfectly. The panicked expression, the soaked outfit, it's all consistent throughout the entire five seconds. The running motion also feels much more natural and fast-paced compared to that slightly floaty slow motion feel we got from 1.2.2. And the background? Rock solid. No weird morphing like we saw in 2.2. However, I do have one small nitpick regarding the lighting on the pavement. While the neon reflections are accurate, the transition between this red and white light feels a bit too sharp and separated. I was hoping for a smoother blend, like we see between the white and yellow areas here. But the massive game changer for WAN 2.5 is obviously the audio. This is a total upgrade. The video comes with generated sound. You can hear the rain, the footsteps, and the man's heavy breathing. And what really impresses me is the sync. The footsteps and gasps match his running rhythm perfectly. It makes the footage feel incredibly cinematic and real. Sure, you could manually add Foley to the Silent One 2.2 video in post-production. But let's be real. 
Syncing sound effects to every single frame takes a ton of time and some serious editing skills. All right, let's move on to the next example. This time, I'm using a prompt describing a girl taking a selfie on the street. Let's check out the results. As you can see, WAN 2.5 delivers a fantastic output. We've got the girl selfie ng with this radiant expression. But what I'm really focusing on here is the skin texture fidelity. Do you see that? The skin quality is incredibly realistic. We're talking actual pores, moles, even tiny blemishes. The teeth and eyes are also rendered beautifully. The background characters on the street make sense. And there's no noticeable morphing or glitching. And again, the audio is spot on, the model generated accurate, realistic street ambience. Now, looking at the WAN 2.2 result. Honestly, WAN 2.2 also does a great job here. The character looks good and the skin texture is still very realistic. Details like hair and teeth are solid. However, the clear difference between the two models in this example is sharpness. While the WAN 2.2 output looks relatively soft or slightly blurry, WAN 2.5 is noticeably crisper and sharper. And remember, I haven't even switched to the higher 1080p resolution option yet. Okay, let's keep it moving. This time, we're going for a much more cinematic shot. I'm asking both models to generate a video of King Kong charging forward at high speed. Let's check the WAN 2.2 result first. To be fair, the model nailed the look. King Kong looks ferocious and detailed, and the jungle setting matches my prompt perfectly. But do you see the problem? It's that same slow motion issue we saw in the first example, but this time it's even more obvious. King Kong is moving in slow mo across the five seconds. It makes him feel incredibly floaty and lacking weight. It looks more like a giant plastic toy being dragged along rather than a living creature stomping on the ground. Now, I actually covered a fix for this slow mo issue in a previous video, you can check that out right here. But for this test, I'm sticking to the default Comfy UI workflow to show you the raw, out-of-the-box performance of WAN 2.2. And aside from the slow MO, the physics are off. Look at the water splashes, they're just erupting randomly without any actual impact causing them. Now, shift your eyes over to WAN 2.5. This, this is what I call, blockbuster quality. First up, the weight. With every step King Kong takes, you can actually feel the massive impact. Dirt and debris are flying up in the correct direction of the force. The debris particles vary in size and fall back down quickly and decisively. They aren't just floating around like in WAN 2.2. Secondly, interactive lighting. This is the detail that blew me away. Watch closely. When the lightning strikes on the left, his fur immediately lights up on that side, while the right side stays logically shadowed. And when the lightning hits the right, both sides illuminate. That dynamic lighting makes the shot look incredibly grounded and real. And again, the audio is perfectly harmonized with every frame. You hear those heavy, thundering footsteps, the sound of crushing earth, and snapping branches. In this specific example, WAN 2.5 is the clear, undisputed winner over WAN 2.2. Okay, let's crank up the difficulty. I'm going to try a much more complex scenario. A dancer performing in the middle of a festival crowd. The goal here is to test facial detail consistency when the subject is small in the frame. This is a notorious stress test that causes almost all AI solutions to fail. Let's check one 2.5 first. As you can see, while WAN 2.5 definitely followed the prompt, we have the dancer performing in the crowd, it still hasn't broken through that technical ceiling. The faces are clearly shifting and distorting right here. The audio is still decent, but visually, it's struggling. Now, let's look at WAN 2.2. Oh wow! The error rate is even worse here. You can see the dancer's face is almost completely deformed. Clearly, in this specific challenge, 
WAN 2.5 still hasn't managed to overcome the limitations seen in WAN 2.2. My advice? You should avoid using either of these models for scenarios that require high facial detail when the subject is small or far away like this. Alright, now let's switch gears and test the image-to-video capabilities of WAN 2.5, comparing it directly against the WAN 2.2 image-to-video workflow in Comfy UI. First up, I'm uploading an image of two characters right here, with a prompt describing a guy walking with a girl. Let's take a look at the results from both models. Okay, clearly this time, both models did a fantastic job. We're seeing stable frames that stay very true to the input image on both sides. Unlike the previous stress test, in this scenario, the facial details from both WAN 2.5 and WAN 2.2 are rock solid, completely consistent throughout the entire 5 seconds. So for this test, I'm calling it a draw. Both models performed equally well. It seems this specific scenario is pretty simple, even for the older WAN 2.2 model. Next up, let's try a cinematic action shot. I'm uploading an image of a fierce warrior riding a horse on the battlefield. The prompt describes him charging through the chaos, swinging his axe. Let's check out the results. Incredible, right? This is exactly what I was looking for. A truly cinematic shot. The motion of both the man and the horse is precise and logical. Just like with text-to-video, the image-to-video feature here delivers harmonious movement, keeping the character perfectly integrated with the background. Plus, the audio is spot-on even though I didn't describe any sound in the prompt. It really elevates the realism to a whole new level. Now, looking at the WAN 2.2 result. To be fair, it still produces a very high-quality cinematic image. But once again, the motion is where it falls short compared to WAN 2.5. It almost feels like the horse is just hopping in place. It's clear that in scenarios requiring high-intensity movement, WAN 2.5 is in a completely different league compared to WAN 2.2. Okay, now let me show you another amazing capability of WAN 2.5 thanks to that audio integration. Talking videos. Just look at this result. Hello, Sotai. I must say, you are the finest YouTube channel about AI that I have ever known. Truly magical. I've got Dumbledore right here talking about my YouTube channel. The visuals and the audio are perfectly synchronized, right? I actually just rewatched the Harry Potter movies, and I can guarantee you, there is absolutely no shot like this in the actual films. And it's not just for human characters. WAN 2.5 even lets you create talking videos with fantasy creatures, like this werewolf right here. Hello, Sotai, I must say, you are the finest YouTube channel about AI that I have ever known. Truly magical. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And on top of that, notice that these videos are running up to 10 seconds long. Even at that length, the model maintains precision and keeps the character completely consistent from start to finish. Alright, so that wraps up my comparison tests between WAN 2.5 and WAN 2.2. As you can clearly see, WAN 2.5 really outperforms WAN 2.2 in a lot of areas. The biggest game changer is definitely that generated audio, it just boosts the realism significantly. However, to be fair, WAN 2.2 still holds its own and delivers pretty comparable results in certain scenarios. So, here is the verdict. If you're looking to create videos using free tools and want full control over the process, definitely stick with WAN 2.2. Just make sure to check out the optimization tips and workflows on my channel to get the best out of it. But, if you need to generate shots with that ultra-high, near-cinematic quality, then WAN 2.5 on the WAN AI tool is absolutely the optimal choice for you. So, that wraps up my review of the WAN 2.5 model on the WAN AI tool and our head-to-head -head comparison with WAN 2.2. I really hope you watched all the way through to catch every single tip and trick I dropped along the way. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and share it around. It really helps get the word out and supports the channel. Thanks so much for watching.